hello hello um hello everybody uh welcome or welcome back to cloudy cleric uh my name is oliver hi hello and today we are doing satsbo and sorry that it was one day late i went to go visit my grandparents yesterday um and they're very they're very talky and they're very chatty and i ended up staying way later than i thought i was going to and i already had plans with um, one of my friends to hang out with them, so I was like, I'm so sorry, guys, um, and I ended up having a sleepover, so I would have, I wouldn't have been able to film Satsubo anyways, but here I am now, we're here to talk about Stranger Things 5 production stuff, um, I just got out of the shower, so that's why my hair looks so odd, um, I didn't put any product in it today, so how it dries is how it dries, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, um, and let's see anything oh it's my birthday in 15 days so almost two weeks and i'm going to be turning 18 a big number for somebody my <laughs> for somebody my age i'm going to be a legal adult in the u.s um and if i lived literally anywhere else i would be like i'd be able to drink alcohol i i don't know i don't think other countries have like drugs legalized because i i would say like if i was in other countries i could smoke weed but um i don't i don't i don't know if that's a, i don't know if that's legal in other countries because it's it's barely legal in some states um but i digress i'm turning 18 that's crazy and school's starting again i still have one more week of glory for my summer and I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I'm turning my senior year, so fuck that. Um, I mean, I'm only gonna really be doing like two classes, so not that difficult. But you know, um, I'm I'm just thinking about Stranger Things. Like when I slept over at my friend's house uh, last night, I think I, I I fell asleep to the Stranger Things score. Because lately, I've been feeling, like, very nostalgic for Stranger Things, like, the aesthetics of Stranger Things 1 and 2. Like, I think that they're, like, that's so fucking cool. Like, I love Stranger Things 1. So I've been playing uh, Stranger Things 1984, the mobile game, a little bit because it has that kind of aesthetic and feel and the music. Like, nothing fucking gives me war flashbacks like the Stranger Things soundtrack does like nothing does like play in the closet at Rinkomania and I will break down sobbing like it's <sighs> I just love Stranger Things I, I was talking to them and I was like if I don't go on camera and I, may, and I don't make a YouTube video about Stranger Things at least once a week I will like cease to exist I will like blow away like dust like what was it Avengers Endgame I don't I never saw the movie don't come after me I'm not a Marvel girly, um, but here I am now, we are making it, I'm currently kind of a little bit stressed, because, um, my room is a little bit dirty, you can't really tell, because a lot of the stuff's on the floor, and it's just like a water bottle, it's like the surfaces of my room are really dirty, so like my desk is not super dirty, but it's definitely more crowded than I would like it to be, I should probably clean up over there, and then my, my nightstand's a little bit, uh, freaky, and then I need to clean up my, like, main room downstairs, I don't know why I said downstairs, I am downstairs, uh, my main room over there, and it's just, ugh, I hate it, I hate it, I always get so stressed when things are unclean, but then, like, I somehow manage to make things unclean, like, I can't maintain, I can't maintain the cleanliness, uh, but I, I've been getting better about that, um, so, yes, um, that's about all that I really wanted to talk about, we don't have a whole ton to go over really in today's episode, like, there, there's not a lot to talk about really, and um, if you didn't know, the reason why there wasn't an episode last week is because the Wi-Fi was down at my house. It was the three days of darkness, is what I like to call it. <laughs> Luckily, my dad's a super genius, um, so he got it fixed. 
without having to need somebody to come out to fix it for us, which is really awesome. But uh, yeah, there wasn't an episode last week, and then I was going to do a makeup, and then I was like, eh, barely anything came out, so I'll just roll over like the one thing that did come out to next week, and then like, it's, ju it's just not a lot, so um, I don't know, I think that's good. I think this episode is definitely going to be shorter, um, which is good because I'm a little bit tired from the sleepover, and I need to clean, I would like to take a nap, and I'd like to crochet. I like to do a lot of things with my time. Um, I don't know, I just feel dirty. I guess, like, what my main bag that I use everywhere, like, I don't know how it got in there, but I think, like, a dried flower got into it, or something, or, like, something crumb. Like, something that breaks up into crumbs got into one of the pockets, and it's like, ew, like, no, I don't, I don't want it. Like, and it's, it's, ugh, it's just, it's like, do I take the vacuum? Like, what do I do? I don't understand what do I do maybe I should have put product in my hair because it's looking a little flat but you know what it's fine it's fine I don't care we're just gonna get into this video um, so sadly I have the most exciting news first and it doesn't get much more exciting after that um, what sorry I just saw frozen 3 why are they making frozen 3 stop it stop it stop it i i saw frozen when it came out in theaters about like 20 times my parents can vouch for me for this and then i saw frozen 2 when it came out and i fell asleep um because i don't know unpopular opinion was not that good so why are they making a third no fucking clue anyway what i'm going what i'm supposed to be talking about is how stranger things the first shadow is going to be opening on broadway in 2025 which is absolutely fucking fantastic as much as i would have liked to save up to go on a trip to london and finally see a country outside of the u.s um because the only other country i've ever been outside of the u.s is canada and i drove there with my with my parents when i was little and so it wasn't even like truly canada it was just like the glaciers or something i don't know i mean it was very pretty but um yeah this is the only time i've ever been out of the u.s i think i went to puerto rico when i was like six does not count um oh sorry i get so salty when it comes to that because um out of the three sections of my family that lives here in utah um me, my mom, and my dad are far, are by far, like, not like by far, but like we are the least rich out of all the different, the like, like I have my cousins and my grandparents and us, and we are the least rich, and like, um, some of the other members of the family will like they travel the world so much like every single year they used to go on cruises and i don't know i guess i could just get kind of like a little bit jealous and it, it sucks because i think a couple months ago i had the realization of like there's an entire fucking world out there and i've seen none of it i've never been to europe i've never been to mexico which is crazy um, I've barely been to Canada. I went on a Disney cruise once when I was six, so it's not like I remember a lot of it. And, like, a lot of the, the states on the East Coast I haven't been to, and I'm not going to Florida because they hate trans people there. And it's just, ugh, it's like, there's a whole world and I've barely seen any of it, and it's so sad. But enough about the sad the sads so we're gonna we're just gonna talk about the stranger things play and what i was trying to say with that if i didn't say it is that i would have loved to save up to go to london to see the play in europe uh but that it just didn't seem like it would work out um so the stranger things play is luckily coming to broadway so i don't have to travel outside of europe however i wish it would stay in europe so if my parents ever wanted to take me they would be forced to bring me to europe um, and either way, I'm just excited that I'll be able to see it. And like, sometimes, uh, this is just becoming like low key venting podcast and I don't want it to do, I don't want it to be that, but like, 
I don't know, like I brought it up to my mom that the first shadow was coming in New York and she was like, oh, well, we'll have to tell our friend in New York to watch out for it. No, no, stop saying it. <laughs> if we can go, say yes. And if we can't go, say no. I don't know, it seems a little backhanded. Um, and she's probably gonna watch this video and she's probably gonna talk to me about it, but whatever, whatever. I'm a little bit tired, I'm a little bit cranky. Even though I'm really not that tired, I just, I need to calm down. Stranger Things, <sighs> Byler. <sighs> okay, so it's coming to Broadway, um, which is good. Uh, here's some of the original cast and there's not really a lot to say um, rather than information about when it will be in Broadway. Um, so it will be um, in New York on Broadway at the Marquis Theater uh, with preview performances happening on March 28th. Um, and then it'll be opening in April on April 22nd. Um, and yeah, that's what it's going to be. Um, it is, in case you don't know, it's a prequel to Stranger Things about Henry a little bit, and then it also has Joyce and Hopper when they were in middle school, and I think there's, like, some other people that are, like, new, introduced to the canon in the first Shadow, but I don't know anything about them, and I've heard things about them. I don't know. If you don't know, I am not a Henry Creel girly at all. I actually came out with a really controversial Tumblr take a couple days ago, and luckily it has not reached the bad side where I would get flamed to death. Stop flaming me, preps, bro. I said, do we treat Henry Creel like we treat the Onceler? Like, do we, do we... I don't know. And luckily... There's a very specific subsection of the Stranger Things fandom that I think would be pissed the fuck off at me if they saw that. I'm glad it hasn't spread there. And Kid Avna agreed with me, which was crazy, on one of her, on her side blog, she reblogged it, and I was like, hey, hey, sorry. Um, that's not related at all. Oh my god, I'm so frazzled. I'm so frazzled. So frazzled. Okay, so yeah, this is the main thing that came out. Stranger Things play to open in Broadway on 2025. In 2025. So if you do not have the money or are not able to travel to London to see the Stranger Things play um, and you live in the U.S., do not worry. You will not have to travel outside of the U.S. Uh, come a couple months from now. Um, you will still have to go to New York and pay to stay in New York and pay for New York tickets, and so it's still not going to be cheap. Um, but yes, you can now see the Stranger Things play on Broadway, on traditional Broadway in America, which is awesome, which is awesome, considering I've been to New York more times than I've been to London. I am being so pissy. What is wrong with me? Sorry. Okay. Next. Okay. So this is Stranger Things spoilers. And in case you don't know anything about this podcast, this is my favorite source of Stranger Things spoilers. This came out on July 31st. And I think I... I think I've made an episode since then. But if not... um. I think we've gone over these photos. It's just some photos from downtown Hawkins. If you can see, we have Radio Shack and Melvalds. Love you, Melvalds. Um, Pam's? Royal Furniture Company. Hell yes. Sorry. Um, yeah, just some just some stuff, but I, I think I've already done that. Um, and then one week ago... Stranger Things uh, 5, the writing for it started, sorry, not one year ago, <sighs> two years ago, the writing for Stranger Things 5 happened, it started, it, fuck my life, bro, fuck my baka life, ah, the writing for Stranger Things 5 started two years ago, only about five more months to go until filming for the final season is done, and, um, 
not much to say rather than I think the filming's going to end around February for 2025, but I'm sure obviously it's film and the film industry is like super fucked up when it comes to scheduling and I would know that. I would know that. Um but you know. Stranger Things keep my man Dustin safe, please. We need him. Let the show won't be the same without him. Sorry, I don't know why I read it like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, so that's what the photos. Uh, Stranger Things spoilers. Oh, this is right. Um, the main thing that has come up, the like second big thing, is Geek Geeked Week 2024 for Netflix. Uh, if you don't know, Netflix has a couple different events that they'll do around the year to just kind of like... It's kind of like uh, that one gaming convention that I can't think of the name of, but Keanu Reeves was there. It's like E24. No, that's A24. Um, I don't know. You know, If you know about gaming culture, you'll know the convention I'm talking about. It's just a gaming convention where they, where like studios will, will talk about their upcoming releases and updates on projects and stuff. Um, but Netflix does the same thing called Geek Tweaked, and I think there is a da ba dum da da dum, I don't know something like that. Um, and so they uh, they announced the dates for Geek Week twenty twenty four, um, which will be a um, going from September sixteenth to um, September nineteenth. With why is Femboys trending in the United States? Sorry, Twitter. Holy shit. Um, and it will end with a live uh, fan live event in uh, Atlanta on the 19th. Um, not that it will all be held in, like, most of it's virtual, but the, the live fan event will be in Atlanta. Um, I brought up the possibility of going to Geeked Week. Um, just to see the live fan event in, um, Atlanta, and my parents said it's probably not possible, which fucking sucks, cause, like, ow, I wish I could travel more, like, fuck my life, fuck my life. Um, but Geeked Week, since it's happening in Atlanta and Stranger Things is one of the confirmed, um, things that they'll be updating on. I'm like 99% sure that there's going to be people from Stranger Things there. You can't just, like, you can't just have it happen in Atlanta and then, like, also be Netflix and then, like, not have Stranger Things things happen there. I don't know. I just, <sighs> ah, um, but yeah, so if you are around the Atlanta area and you have the ability or you want to kind of see what this is going to be about, um, yeah, there'll be a live event. There'll um, there'll be a fan event in Atlanta on September nineteenth, uh, which is almost about a month out. Um, so, yep, this is awesome. I'm excited to see what they'll what they'll do. And then we already looked at that. And then here is this is um, if you know anything that what I talk about. Um, like if you've seen any of the previous uh, episodes, uh, this is Stranger Things on Spain. Now we branded to Upside Down on Spain, which was very confusing for me when I opened up my Satsbo tab here, which I have a bunch of different um, links on, and it said Stranger Things on Spain does not exist. And I was like, um, but it does. Um, and then I just found out they rebranded, so don't worry, they're alive. Um, and if you know anything about Stranger Things, uh, leak sources, this is kind of like the TMZ of Stranger Things leak sources, is like what I'll say. So, like, it is, it's, it's less, it's more like paparazzi-ish. Like, not like paparazzi, like, they respect, like, like, celebrity space and stuff, but it is way more about, like, the personal lives of the actors. And so, um, on July 27th, um, a bunch of people from the cast of Stranger Things 5 were seeing a movie together. Um, don't know if they ever released what movie it was. We're thinking it's the fucking Marvel Wolverine 
Dead, Deadpool. Is that it? Uh, because I think Sean Levy directed it. So, and if you don't know, Sean Levy is um, a very big director for Stranger Things and has been very involved in the creation of Stranger Things. Um, so, yes. Um, this is about Geeked Week. This is just saying Jamie Campbell Bauer has confirmed that he has been filming night scenes. <gasps> Not night scenes. Oh! This is not news. Brett Gelman, boo, who plays Murray, a confirmed, I'm guessing that was supposed to be, has confirmed that fans will likely receive several teasers of Stranger Things 5 before the official launch on Netflix. I don't want to be mean, I'm a little bit cranky today, but usually they release several teasers before they launch it called trailers to build hype would you fuck it? can you fucking imagine they just did a cold drop of stranger things 5 like what if you woke up one day and you looked at netflix and it was just like oh like okay <laughs> it's like whoa okay um this is that city sync has been doing uh scenes as max that are really heartbreaking and this is kind of like hearsay like this is just like the cast in Atlanta and all that stuff and it's it's hard for me to speculate on this because I do like to do speculating on spoilers that do come out but there's no pictures attached with this there's no videos like it it's just hard to like speculate about it um but we did get some behind the scenes photos last Friday I think of the I'm assuming recreated set for Hawkins High. If you don't know, Hawkins High is being demolished right now, the outside set, um, which is sad knowing that I'll probably never be able to see that set in person, but also, I mean, I would want to see the outside. I don't know if I'd want to go on the inside because it has asbestos, um, and that's why it's being demolished, but it's, it's just sad that I'll never be able to see that set, even if it is just like from the outside. So from the recreated inner, ins oh my god, the recreated interior sets from the Hawkins High School we got. So first we have, um, this looks like Earth Science um, because of the different rocks that we are looking at. Um, but this just kind of looks like a science room in, in general because we also have space stuff, learn about space careers, that kind of thing. This just looks like a very standard um, I'm guessing, like, earth science or astronomy class. Going to space this season? No. I don't... What makes you... Sorry. <laughs> um, we have more stuff from this. Um, rocks and soil, so just kind of more of, like, an earth science. Science-y feel. Oh, my God. Microscopes, more rocks... Andesite, yeah, this is all the different types. Um, yeah, this is reminding me of 8th grade. What class was it in 8th grade? I don't remember. I took some 8th grade science class, and in that class we covered this kind of stuff. Got some homework. Got a, that's a protractor, right? Or is a protractor like the spinny thing? I don't know. Anyway, we have some homework and stuff. Um hard to read what it is saying because it's three pixels big if i had to guess maybe math it looks like more math um and this it's just it's just homework like i don't i don't really know what to say um and then i, I love this one so this one is um about light and I'm 99% sure this is supposed to be the dark side of the moon reference which is awesome because I fucking love the dark side of the moon that is one of the greatest albums of all time um but also you'd be surprised how many people just like use this image to just like generally talk about the science of light I don't know um what's also really interesting is that I don't know just to me this looks very like the gay flag, like the old gay flag, but then it would also, I think it would have also another um, 
shade of red because I think they used to have pink. I don't know. Just gay, and I like it. And um, shine on you, crazy. That's not. That's a different. <laughs> that is a different thing. Oh, fun fact about the Dark Side of the Moon. My dad has an original press vinyl of the Dark Side of the Moon, courtesy of my grandpa that was on my dad's side. He died. We love him, though. Um, and, yeah, that's all that came out here. And that's really all that's that's been out. Let's see. We've only been recording for 25 minutes. And I, I literally just went through, like, everything that happened like it this is what i mean like not a lot happened and i'm and i'm also just frazzled today and i'm tired and i want to crochet and i want some more egos and i want to chai i need another chai and so many things are happening right now I'm just a little bit moody i'd probably need a nap i definitely need a nap i don't know why i said probably and my hair dried all weird Anywho, um, that is all that I have for you guys today. I'm so sorry this episode was so chaotic and I was low-key, like, so fucking grumpy. But, um, you know what? I just have the same amount of sass that Will Byers has. We all saw him in season three. And season four. just saying um anyway uh yeah so thank you for watching this uh there'll be another satsubo out soon there'll be another regular channel out video <laughs> Fuck. there'll be another video regular video out on my channel when i get done with it i i'm i'm currently juggling a couple of different ideas i have my byler documentary but then i don't know if i want to turn it back from a documentary to like a byler bible video um, not about the Byler slideshow Bible, like, I make my own, like, just ultimate Byler evidence video, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I, a lot's going on, school's starting, I'm senior year and turning 18, like, all this fucking crazy things. I'm low-key broke, I'm trying to decide if I need a job, um, but I digress. That is all that I have for you guys today. Um, I love you guys. Uh, join my Discord if you want to have some awesome talkings with people. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. In the next Satsbo or video if I somehow make an, another video. So, like a regular one before the next Satsbo. Okay, bye!